for us to dilate functions, level one. Okay. Uh, in this case, we have our parent function y equals a b to the x. It's an exponential function. The x is where the exponent is at. <clears throat> and in this case, we have an a that's two. So what that does is it makes it grow faster. So it's going to compress our function. So it's going to shoot up faster. And basically the way we want to do this here is we substitute in some values to see if they work and where they land here as an output. So normally when we plug in one, that'd be two to the one, uh, which is two, the output is two. But now uh, we have that two in front. So we'll just go ahead and test it. You may want to do a table. That's kind of the, the easiest way to approach these. So when we have a one right here, so that would be two times two to the first, which is equal two times two is four is our output, is our output now. And then if I had a two right here, it's gonna jump off real quick, but we'll see it because we have two right there. So the uh, two, as an input, y equals 2 times 2 to the second. Uh, that turns into 2 times 2 squared is 4. So this output is now 8. All right. That should give us enough. Usually 1 is what we need, but we'll see how much. So uh, when we have plugged in 1, the output is now 4. And notice the rest of the graph also changes. And when I plug in two, do I get eight? And we sure do. So notice that that was our original. Our new one is tighter, more increasing faster. Got it. And that's the, the way they write the function. Uh, the way I usually do it is a, b to the x.